much and for coming through to this interview. You have ZPC Kariba in this heat. They're coming from heat, uh, where it's, uh, the temperatures are astronomical in uh, Kariba. Uh, the game this coming week, it's a fresh one. You've taken a, a week's break. And how is it looking for you at camp and also your lads as well? Uh, yeah, I think I think the weekend was good for us, to be honest. Um, I think we were able to both mentally and physically switch off first, uh, and then recharge second. So, uh, me personally, I think I think for us as a group, I think it's positive. Of course, there's negative in terms of when you're not constantly training, but uh, because of everything that we do, and it, I, I believe it being so much, you know, intense. Um, for the boys to be able to, to cope with the demands and things. I think the, the, the break was, was good for us. Um, this week I feel like the, the morale, the confidence um, and the energy levels continue to, to be where they were. So um, there's confidence definitely in the group. Our preparations have, have gone well. Um, in terms of the players and the availability, uh, apart from suspensions, we, we've got the, the squad available also. So um, we're confident going into the game, but as I've always said, we don't believe in easy games and we know Kariba will come and, and put their um, strategy into, into place as well. So we're going to have to perform, we're going to have to do certain things better that we didn't do beforehand, but we're, we do believe that if we're capable of doing it, we can get three points. And of course, the lads are responding quite well, obviously, to your uh, ideas and coaching tactics. Um, how do you see the last few games in terms of uh, how your guys are fit for the games as well? Uh, well, honestly, there's one thing that I am proud of, and that's the way we play. Um, I think that what we control or what we can control, I think we've done a very good job of it all season. I think our performance levels in the sense of our identity, our playing style, um, I think they're constantly developing. And I think that what the boys are capable of doing now is completely different to what it was six months ago or nine months ago. And so for me, that's part of the job done, if, if you know what I mean by that, and that's something that makes me proud. Um, and that's something that I, I believe and, and I would almost say I know for a fact will continue until the end of the season. The players will continue to develop, our playing style will continue to improve. It's constantly evolving as well, so we don't always do the same things. You know, we have different um, strategies or plans, if you like, but they all base from the same principles of play. Uh, and that's something that I feel the players are, are better capable of coping with up until now. And, and for me, that's probably our biggest conquest so far this first season. Um, I'm going to ask you this question in, a, in an interesting way. You've got your players and you've got ZPC Kariba. What is it that you know about ZPC Kariba that you would like to explore? I'm not going to ask you yeah, what yeah, you yeah. will do, but yeah, yeah what it, I mean, in, in all honesty, and I think maybe this is, this is possibly, um, what's the word, possibly something that we can take as a compliment. I think most teams, bar maybe platinum if I'm totally honest, play sort of the same way against us. It's more about dropping a little bit deeper, it's more about defending, it's more about then trying to hit us on the transitions and because they know that we keep the ball, they know that we get players high, they know that we try and install ourselves if you like in, in the opposition's half which does leave spaces at times so I don't expect them to be much different if I'm totally honest. Uh, it'll come down to characteristics of certain, of certain players and which ones they try and uh, expose or exploit the most. But I expect them to come with, with that sort of strategy. That doesn't mean they don't want to win and, and they don't want to play. Um, they will and everyone uses you know, whatever weapons they have uh, available. We will try to do our best as well. Uh, but I think it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of patience from our side. I don't think we can get um, too nervous or, or, or too anxious if we don't score immediately or if things don't go you know, uh, well for the whole whole part of the initial the initial game, I think it's going to come down to us moving the ball very quickly, being able to utilize and create space, and then of course when we get into the final third, we need to be effective and competitive. Um, <coughs> would you put this one or make this one as a, as a test, I guess, a piece of Kariba, when you also meet in the first round of the Chibuku Super Cup next the coming round? Yeah, um, in terms of what to expect, you mean? Not too much, if I'm totally honest, only because I think both teams, uh, I'm speaking this from our end as well, I think both teams will probably go to the cup in a little bit of a different, uh, for a different manner. Um, it depends on how each team will take it. Some teams, uh, if I'm not mistaken, even from information I have, I think even a couple of their key players were left out against BCC on the weekend in the cup, probably looking to, to this game against us as well. So I think some teams may give chances to some players who haven't played so much. 
Also, at the same time, I think a, a cup game is always different than a league game. You know, draws don't interest anyone, and it'll come down to someone having to win. So maybe the way you approach it, or definitely the way that you change things within those 90 minutes, I think will be slightly different. We might get an understanding of, of some... Would you say you will have certain players that you want to um, do the same, approach a final, uh, the, the, the cup in a different way, by bringing in certain players? I think it's, uh, for me as the coach, the most important thing will be finding the balance. Uh, because uh, to be totally honest, I think every week there's players that deserve to play who don't. Um, that's one thing that I've never had a problem with in this squad is everyone works to the absolute maximum of their ability. And the truth is there are some players probably who, who deserve to play, you know, based on that, but don't. Um, so the cup is often, I think, all across the world looked at as an opportunity for some players to, to get a chance. Having said that, we know the importance of the... Um, especially or at least towards towards us and our group the importance that the cup can have uh, in terms of it being silverware and being a, a different competition so we have to um, we have to encounter and engage the competition in with the exact same mentality but with the possibility always of trying to give other players opportunities also